Hey guys, what's up? Long time coming. I know you haven't like seen me make a video on YouTube and just make a video on YouTube in probably a minute, like really. Um, but yeah, to people that don't know, this is your man Kamari, aka Reno Slow Motion. Um, on here in this, me, but. I'm trying not to curse because now it's considered to be Sunday, so it is Father's Day. Happy Father's Day to all them daddies out there and all the trans fathers out there and all the fathers that are supposed to be fathers and all the women that are taking father roles. You know what? I mean, there was an issue about that, but that would be probably a whole another video. Last cigarette of the night. And last drink of the night. Um, I've been working, so I don't make too many videos because, um, like I say, I'll be working and trying to get this paper. Um, I will be moving. I'm moving in with a co-worker of mine, and he he's really cool. He knows about me, and uh, he, he knows that I'm going through not happy where I'm at, living situation. With someone I had to turn down, that's a long story. If you've been following me on Facebook, then you already know. Um, as far as my Reno Slow Motion fan page, uh, excuse me, I have not been on there. I'm so sorry. I probably got like a bunch of friends that have been trying to get on there. <laughs> I have not been posting on there as much as I should be. I apologize. I have been MIA dealing with me right now. So, I have not been like... YouTube <sighs> happy and celebrity like <laughs> but like to people that don't know I've been rocking with YouTube for t since 2007 it is now 2015 so I've been with YouTube for a minute and um, a lot of people don't know I'm kind of like the old school on YouTube so you know you got a lot of new heads on here you got a lot of famous people on here like J Love, Lush, Kamari. Well, he doesn't do too many videos too much anymore. He doesn't do a lot of videos like he used to with him and Miss Honey. I don't know what's going on with my uh, with my bro, my brother-in-law, <laughs> or his missus. I don't know what's going on with him. So I probably have to give him a call. But even when I call, this mother freaker don't even answer their phone, so it kind of ticks me off a little bit. Like I'm calling you answer your phone you see me probably calling then you probably got like a new phone like everybody upgrades their phone and they don't even remember the numbers that they had in their phone and then they're forgetting people that they did have in their old phone so it's like changes whatever that's life so yeah what's happening with me um i found a web i found a way of getting my tea again and um not cheaper. It's a little bit more than what I wanted to spend, but if they send it in two days and shit, I'll get it. So I'm going to try it out and um, see what happens and tell you the results of it. But then you already know my changes and everything, and I can't wait to get my changes back because I've dropped weight. I've gained muscle. I mean, I've still got my muscle broaden shoulders and shit, but me and my lower abs are having a conversation. We're having a battle right now. So, yeah, that is what it is. Um, to all the trans guys that's getting surgery, congrats. To all the pre teas you know, when you transition, don't worry about it, it'll come. Don't don't get hung up on the changes and don't get hung up on being on T like most people. And to another thing, please, if you get any type of dysphoria that it makes you depressed and makes you unhappy, that it makes you feel like you need to take your own life because your family is not understanding or your friends is not accepting or your job is not bullying you, um, hit me up. 
I mean, shit, if I personally gotta give you my number and you're on my Facebook, then fine. I'll give you my number because I want you not to render what the world is gonna do to you. It is a hard, hard world out here towards trans people. But then, lesbians have been through the same shit that we're going through. It's just people. The world does not like something new to happen. People is not accepting of someone deciding that they want to up and change their gender to become the opposite of the way they were born. They think it's abomination. No, oh, it's your you're changing what God made you and a lot of hoo ha. That's basically what it is. If somebody says something about uh you're so you're not okay with God made you and da 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 da, da you know, you're not happy with his creation of you and blah blah blah. You know what I do? Turn the other cheek, walk off, ignore it. Because they do it to get under your skin. Because they got flaws too that they're trying to deal with. But they just judge you and yours. Because they can see it and it takes them from their own flaws. People that are very judgmental and have disrespect comments. Disrespectful comments, I would say. It's because they have so many skeletons in their own closet that they don't even know how to deal with their own so they want to take the instead of taking the energy to deal with their own they just use it to make somebody else feel, feel their wrath of dealing with their own pain so I look at it as like you can't judge me I'm not judging you I mean you try but at the end of the day I'm still gonna smile and I'm still gonna be the man I wanna be and if you don't like it then you know what you can do you can just walk away and don't say jack to me because my happiness matters more than what you think of me I'll say that to any family member, any friend, any cousin, any uncle, any fan, anybody haters are gonna hate people are gonna say what they're gonna say it's a part of the world we're very judgmental derogatory people we disrespect people and think just because we have our own beliefs that other people need to follow them don't listen to that bullshit stop listening to other people's bullshit they just can't deal with their own flaws so they use your flaws or what you're doing in your life to make them feel better not to deal with their own that's all it is um but like I said I'm relocating soon um um I'm supposed to be going to Georgia, but uh, I think I'm having a catfish moment, but I think I'll make a, that a whole nother video because I've got a feeling if I tell you the whole issue of the second catfish I'm going through, you might have a whole lot of feedback on it. So what we're not going to do is make a video about that right now because I'm already 8 minutes in and I'm talking because I'm kind of bored. And I don't have no social life anymore. I don't go anywhere. I don't do anything. I just go to work and I come home and I sit in an apartment with someone that I'm not ever going to be interested in. Ever. Ever. Ever interested in. <laughs> and I sleep on the couch and um, in this beautiful background of the room. <laughs> and, um, and that's just what it is. Um, so, yeah. But lately, um, I've been going through a lot of issues myself, but I just, you know, I try to push through them. And that's all you can do is just push through them, keep going forward, and not look back at the situation. You know, don't, don't worry about it. So, hope everybody's doing fine. Like I said, happy Father's Day on this beautiful Sunday. Hopefully it'll be beautiful. If it's raining in your area, I'm so sorry. If it's sunny in your area, please get a whole lot of sunblock and shade. Because <laughs> the sun is burning up some people. I didn't got darker since y'all seen me last. Uh, yeah, so. Yeah, anybody got anything they want to ask me as far, as far as transitioning or being pre t or just about relationship issues? anything shit I try my best to answer them the best way I can so like I said I'm just dropping in and um 
I will probably make the catfish video in a few minutes, so if you stay tuned, you might get a glimpse of what I'm going to be talking about. Alright.